Well, anyway. well, I I want to I want to clarify something out of my own ignorance and lack of information. You know, years ago, John, when I was a young girl, I was told or I read, and I don't remember which because it was too many years ago, John. That distilled water leaches minerals out of your bones and your body. Is that true or not true? And why did we get that false information? You know, it's not completely false. Here's why. You've got to remember this. Regular water, like we discussed earlier. Yes. 104.5. That's your hydrogen bond angle, right? Yes. Regular distilled, the worst part of regular distilled is the bond angle is 101, 101 degrees, which means it takes more energy for your body to split water into hydrogen and oxygen so it can be assimilated. So in other words, you're using more energy. That's the worst part of it. Now, as far as just saying, well, drinking regular distilled water, you know, leaches minerals and all that kind of thing, it's absolute baloney, and I'm a good example of that. I've been drinking this water for what? Well, it's from my own machine, so I can't give an exact answer. <laughs> 40 years? But say 40, <laughs> 50 years or whatever. I'm 6'7". I never broke a bone in my life. Not, I'm not going to knock on wood now. <laughs> Do you have osteoporosis? When I was almost 70, and I'm not really a weightlifter. I lift some. I reverse curled the weight over the world record, and I didn't know it at the time, but the people at the time, you know, a lot of other weightlifters and all, people that worked for me here, they looked it up, and the world record was something by a, a Russian, around 180-something pounds, and I had gone way over that. And it's all because of the water. The other thing is...